First, shut down your Mac and give it time to cool. Next, disconnect the power cord and all other cables from your computer. Then place a soft, clean towel on a flat surface like a desk. This will prevent your display from getting scratched. Next, carefully lay your Mac screen down onto the towel. Now, open the memory compartment door by pressing the small gray button located just above the AC power port. I used a closed pen to help pop out the door, as I couldn't do it very well with my finger alone. Now is a good time to put on an anti-static strap if you own one. Now that the door is open, use your fingers to lift the door out and set it aside. The compartment door has a helpful diagram on the back of it. Locate the two memory cage levers on the right and left sides of the memory cage. Push the levers outward to release the memory cage and then pull the levers towards you, allowing access to each DIMM slot. Note where the existing two RAM cards are placed. If you only plan on inserting two new cards, put them in the same slots that are filled now. I'm putting four new cards in, so it doesn't matter in my case. The four cards will fill the four slots. Remove the old DIMM by pulling the module straight up and out. Install your new RAM by setting it down into an empty slot and pressing it firmly until you feel it click into place. Make sure to align the notch on the DIMM to the DIMM slot. After you install all of your DIMMs, push both memory cage levers back into the housing until they lock into place. Next, put the memory compartment door back in place. Return your computer back to its correct position and hook it back up. Now we can boot up the Mac and check out the amount of RAM we have installed. As you can see, we have 128 gigabytes of RAM. All four slots are full. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe.